Welcome to Weld School. Today we're going to take this stick welder and convert it into a TIG welder. So what you really need is just some type of stick welder and a couple other components such as this power cable adapter, inexpensive, probably about $12. An air-cooled TIG torch, this one is a WP17V. Definitely need to have a valve on there to allow your gas to flow. And then gas hose, just make sure it's long enough to reach an argon tank, flow meter or regulator, a few wrenches, and grab an old glove. So we're going to start with this old glove. I'm going to cut off the four fingers. And then I'm going to put a hole in the thumb. And then basically what we're going to do is this is going to be our insulator for the connection between the stinger and the power cable adapter. So it's basically a poor man's uh, insulator, but it works great. You know, you, you burn up some old gloves, use it for this. So now you can go ahead and slide that hose through the glove, tighten it down to the power cable adapter. And then do the same with the hose. Add your components to the TIG torch. So I got a lens body there. Got your cup or nozzle, your collet, and some tungsten. I'm using eighth inch tungsten here. And then I got just the, the little cap at the end. I don't want the large tail. I'm gonna try to walk the cup with this a little bit so I don't want the tail on there. Next thing is you need a 100% argon tank of it. Go ahead and crack that open. Throw your flow meter on there. Snug it down. And then go ahead and take the hose end of the whip you just put together. And then hook that up to your flow meter or regulator. Slowly crack the valve until you get pressure and then you can go ahead and open it up all the way. High pressure tank should be opened all the way. And then you can see I just opened the gas valve on the WP17V torch. I set my pressure with a flow meter. I need to see the ball rise up. And then go ahead and take your stinger clamp it to the power cable adapter, slide the glove over it, and then we're gonna go ahead and set up our machine. We wanna be on DC negative. Set your amperage, whatever you think you need. So I'm probably about 130 amps. I'm gonna go ahead and walk the cup. This is probably just a 332 or eighth inch uh, steel filler rod. Big mistake, I've, I've made this before, is uh, forgetting to open up that valve, make sure you got uh, gas flowing. And then I'm just walking the cup on this one. And I'll also just do a regular old dip after this short clip. Keep your uh, nozzle close so you can protect it when you're done. And then shut off the valve until you do your next pass. And then here, we're just doing a regular old uh, dip method. So you can do this for, for anything. Tees, laps, corners, butt welds. You know, whether that put, butt welds a plate or pipe, doesn't really matter. And then that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. There's a finished product. Thanks for watching Weld School.